Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to, uh, well, welcome to Halo Infinite. Uh, this is the, the open beta that come out, uh, three days ago on the 15th as a surprise launch. And I just wanted to play and give my first impressions. I've played a couple matches already, but I'm going to play, uh, maybe just a quick play, just a normal match and then the big team battle. Let's just jump into it. Capture the flag. Good old capture the flag. Do we love it? So I believe if you log in, you still get that green color at some point. Oh, that looks sick. I think that's one of the esports colors you can get. Right, let's jump into it. Now I did uh, play a few matches before uh, recording this video. I think just to get the to get the hang of it. Uh, oh, bit of lag there. That's not good. I gotta be careful because uh, I did play against bots for a while, and I think I got a little too used to uh, how the bots play. Oh, got the screen. Ah, he got me there. <laughs> that chicken doing that? <laughs> Is it even a chicken? I, uh, I adjusted all of my controls to uh, be a little bit better. Oh, got switch weapons. Oh no. At least the grenade got him. <laughs> I think they're gonna capture that flag, unfortunately. But yeah, I think uh, I gotta sort of ease off playing the against bots because I got a little too used to it. So, God, I hit somebody. Save me. Oh, he's got the grubber. Hopefully, uh, our guy can. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Sort of feel bad because I stole that off him, but, uh. Oh, well. Oh, I can get the better rifle. Did someone grab the. Oh my god, I want the. I want the rocket launcher. I can get that. Oh, yeah, that's bullshit. At least I killed him there. <laughs> but I will say the time to kill is like incredibly quick. I hope I can go get the BR again because uh, the BR is an absolute beast. Ah, they're just gonna sit there and camp. I will admit, uh, uh, this game mode's a bit of a clusterfuck in terms of uh, trying to commentate while playing. Let's try and uh, take this flag back. So, so far though, I will say like, it, it feels incredible. Oh, I think we've got a guy going for the flag. Oh no, he's, he's, he's... I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, it's a bot. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm not playing bot, a bot mode, am I? Or that? I don't think, don't think so. Must be, must be tripping. I will say it's a shame though, we can't, um, we can't drill wield at the moment. But, uh, let's see if we can defend this guy. Oh god, they're all coming. I'll, uh, I'll try and camp here to try and... Be careful, man, because they'll, uh... Uh, I'll hold this angle. Hopefully no one. Oh god. I don't know how one managed to sneak up here real quick. Perfect. Yeah, we've got, <laughs> she got a chance at winning. It's intense though, we'll say, capture the flag, like it. Again, that bot. But yeah, I was gonna say before, it uh... Center kills coming, coming in clutch. Oh. Man, I've killed 343 Ducky, like... God, I've like run out of bullets. Oh god. Double kill. Double kill. Let's try and pick that up and make a run for it. Defend me, Broski, while I run. God, ease up on the grenades. I thought we might actually win this. Oh, we're gonna do it, we're gonna win. Hey, we did it. Hey. There we go, I got the last, uh, the last flag and that was sick. I love that skin though, it's epic. Yeah, 
Rift was pretty good, I will say. Um, obviously, I did play a match before, or a couple of matches before this, so I sort of have a good feel about how the game plays. But I'm incredibly impressed. Like, I do want to try a big team battle for the first time. I actually haven't played this yet. But while that loads, I sort of want to give my thoughts that uh, this game plays incredibly well. I was incredibly, uh, I'd say, not suspicious, but uh, lacking confidence uh, after playing, oh sorry, after watching the reveal trailer uh, last year, 2020, when that came out, and it just looked, like graphically looked horrible, there was a lot of popping, a lot of issues. And I wasn't convinced with like the sprinting and uh, the grapple, especially the grapple. I was a bit worried about that. Oh, it seems like this game's already started. Oh, let's try the water again. I actually haven't had the chance to drive this yet. Now, it did feel horrible in the uh, beta, I will say. It felt very, uh, you know, like you would slide around. But at the moment, I will say it actually feels really good. I'm actually impressed. It'd be good if I had someone on the back though. I think if I hold E, no. I know this isn't the most uh, epic of gameplays, but uh, it's more like just trying to see how this feels. Like it, it is a bit laggy, I will say. And I don't know whether that's just me. I'm just got a rocket hold there. I don't know where he went. Oh, okay, we're trying to. Uh... Maybe that's gonna blow. Yep. It is a bit late, I will say, at the moment. But I reckon that'll just be... <laughs> That's just down to it being an open beta, to be honest. I think uh, Big Team Battle seems a lot like uh, the Warzone of Halo 5, which I didn't really play. But yeah, like I was saying before, I was... Um, I was pretty concerned with... Uh... Oh, God. Jumped out of nowhere. <laughs> B, I was really concerned with a lot, you know, how the vehicles would feel. The vehicles felt a bit dodgy uh, in the beta. Oh, sorry, in the the flights that uh, happened previously. I know that this is technically the open beta. What have we got here? We've got Ravenger. I'll try the Commando out. I remember the Commando felt a bit off on the console. So, I'll take the VR as well. What's this ordinance drop? We'll see what we... Is it? Oh, oh, you know what? This into shot I used this before is an absolute beast. I don't think I even killed anybody there. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a pelican. Oh, sick. Let's try this out. Hey, there we go, finally killed somebody. <laughs> Only took a minigun to do it. God, I'm absolute... Actually... I was going to try and pick up the sniper there, but... I want to be uh, careful before I drop. I don't even know how to drop this. Oh, no, there we go. Now, it's good that it only takes me a freaking minigun to kill people. Should be careful because my shields have gone down and that's not. Okay, I've actually. Oh, that guy saved me right there. Let's try this. Oh god, did you come from? Ah, you got me there. Now, not to pin this on lag, but it does. This game mode does feel a little bit, uh, like there's a little bit of rubber banding going on. But beyond that, it actually, like, I think the smaller game modes feel a lot better. Like Slayer and obviously the, the 5v5. Oh, there's a gravity hammer. Let's try the gravity Oh, no way, was that? I don't know, so I don't know what that is. Now, oh, to be careful. Thought I had the grappling hook there. 
Oh yeah, I didn't realize this was like the like that classic sort of um, thing from the original Halo games, the uh, Forerunner thing. Yo, big jump. But I gotta say, everything feels like incredibly tight. Like it, it feels good, you know. Like we obviously be on the like a little bit of lag here and there, which is quite understandable. This game is still in an open beta, and I think it'll take them. There we go, we won. Even though I joined late and only contributed five kills, but it feels good. It feels tight. Like it, there's no uh. Like, the weapons feel meaty, man, and it feels good to kill people as well, like... Like, you've actually got to shoot them, you know, <laughs> of course you've got to shoot them to kill them, but... It actually takes a little bit longer to kill them, and... But it feels satisfying when you kill somebody. Whereas I say sort of Battlefield 2042 at the moment, I... I know that by the time this goes up, I would have only uploaded the... The first impressions video of, of that. And then I had I, and I have recorded uh, the Portal gameplay, but Portal at the moment I am probably not going to upload those videos. I think they were just poorly recorded videos, regardless. So I'll have to do them again. So, but I think in that video for the first impressions, it was mostly positive for me for for Battlefield. But I think I'll do like a a second video or another video where. The, the portal video I was absolutely ripping on the game for the majority of the time and I sort of feel like it was was a bit of a negative video and something that I wouldn't want to upload so it was just me whinging the whole time so but in contrast it so far this game does feel it, the guns feel good you know they feel meatier and heavy oh, okay so this is sort of like I'd say capture the flag but so I wonder whether we gotta steal the stuff from from their their base. But see like how meaty does that sound? It sounds like you know it sounds good. I do wanna try the, the shotgun out. But it seems like there's a good array of of weaponry. I should actually leave the base and try and uh, go and contribute. Oh she's got the sword! Oh god. But yeah, like I was saying before, I uh, I was really concerned about how this game would feel and play uh, after seeing that initial trailer last year, and I was really worried that it was going to play a lot like uh, Halo 5, and man, I, I absolutely, I'm not going to lie, I hated Halo 5, man. Stay away, stay away from me. God, the range on that thing is incredible. Reminds me of the Halo 2 sword. Like that thing you could lunge from across the map. But overall, I will say I do feel like I could grab the commando. Oh god. Who's that? There was someone in that vehicle. Okay, I think I got confused because it had the teammate nameplate on it. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Can I uh, pick this up? Let's get home! Alright, let's go. Oh, fucking dumbass. I couldn't get off. He, he screwed me up right there. I sort of waited for him to drive and he just hopped off. Alright, let's see, can I... Oh yeah, there's an enemy chopper, that's... And I love that sound, man. It sounds incredible. Let's see if I can... Get this back without dying. So it seems like I'm. Oh, bit of lag there. But overall, it feels like really good. And I probably said that three or four times now, but I just. Oh. Oh, I see. So you've got to get five. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So you get five. Seeds and then you get one point. That makes sense. If I can run any of these guys over. No, that didn't work. It that was a bit laggy there, so 
But again, I should like, you know, temper my expectations. This is the open beta. And it is going to feel a bit laggy at times. I think that's just down to, there's a lot of people playing it. And I think the servers probably aren't ready to, uh, to handle this many people. Oh, that's what I was going to say before about uh, the commando. That uh, on the uh, Xbox, I had tried to, to use this gun. But I, uh, I really struggled with it. Oh, good. Oh, there we go, we lost. That was unfortunate. But I sort of suspect this is just down to people not really knowing how to play the game yet. It's only been out for a couple of days at this point, so... And I will say I'm so glad that they delayed this game another year. I don't know how bad it would have been had it come out last year. Uh, as good as it would have been to come out with the Xbox, I'm glad that they didn't know. I'm glad that they gave it another year in the oven and then it gave them time to, to fix a lot of stuff up, which is always good. Like, this would be one of those few games where the delay actually helped quite a bit. You know, you look at games like Cyberpunk that they delayed like four times and it's still come out, you know, hot pile of not garbage but it come out as a as a big mess i'm glad that this has come out reasonably well and they've done well as well calling it an open beta because you know you call it a beta and everyone goes oh okay well it's still got a bit of time to go had they released the full game with the campaign the other day it probably would have been a bit uh i think there would have been a little bit more anger <laughs> not anger but i think disappointment but but, but overall, it is still really good. It has been so much fun. And I will say even the Battle Pass, like I'm pretty excited for it. It looks awesome seeing a lot of this stuff. You know, you can get like Carter, and then you can also get, I'm pretty sure the entire Noble team, you know, you can get Jun and uh, Neil and George, if I can find them. There's Cat, and then I uh, don't think we'll have time to, nah. Yeah, the battle pass is cool like it i think i'm a little bit i'd say sad that it's not like a traditional halo like i remember halo reach where you got the game and you could unlock everything and it took forever to unlock everything but i can understand where the the game is going and that things change and it's good it's good okay oh good old oddball I don't think I've played Oddball, I'd say, since Halo Reach, so... Now, I will say that Halo's done well with these sort of little intro bits. I like this. <laughs> Off the rack. I love his voice. He is incredible. Now, I will say... <laughs> he's got the ball. Now, what are we supposed to do with the ball? Just hold it. I think I'm just supposed to hold this as much as I can. I got. If the Rock was playing this, he'd be having a field trip doing his little. Enemy has the ball. You know, I actually wonder if there are going to be Sentinels in uh, the main game. I ran out of bullets. Oh, not bullets. Out of uh, Sentinel juice. That's so wrong. We have the ball. Enemy has the ball. M41 spanker available. Ball dropped. Bad time. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Like it. I think it's taken me a couple of games to sort of figure out. Oh god. You know, I saw that. But overall, I, again, I sort of feel like I'll, I can see myself playing this. Oh god! Enemy has the ball. Get out of here! Oh. But yeah, I can definitely see myself playing this like quite not casually, but like on a on a weekly basis. He smacks the guy with the ball. I think unfortunately they might win this game. Enemy team. Ah, we lost tower. A shame, but it is what it is. 
Oh, so it was. Ah, okay, so it was out of two. But I can also say this is a game that I might actually stream as well. It's just fun, man. Like I'm actually really enjoying playing it. Like, and I know that I'm not. I'm not I haven't been the best. I'm not graded. Oh my god. How do I drop? How do I drop? How do I drop? But I, I really look forward to uh, the the campaign. That will be so much fun. I'm gonna say this will be the first Halo game that I actually have looked forward to. I'd say both uh, both game modes. Like I quite traditionally only ever played. Uh, I quite traditionally only ever played the campaign, and I never really bothered with multiplayer. And I think a little bit of that was just down to. I think the original uh, Halo 1 and 2, I didn't have access to, I didn't have access to, uh, right, let's try and hide a little bit, reload. Oh god, bad time to reload. Need to hide ever so temporarily. We have the ball. Ball drop. Okay, time to pick up the ball. There we go. We did it. Now, hopefully, we can win round three. That'll be sick. God, triple kill. This thing feels like an absolute beast. I'm glad that they added it. God, absolute beast right there. So yeah, so I'm so happy with this game. Like I, I, I think I was incredibly cynical, I will admit, in regards to like them adding sprint and the grapple shot and a lot of these sort of advanced movements because I absolutely despised them in Halo 5 like I thought they were atrocious and I still do I think Halo 5 was absolutely an absolutely abysmal game oh god mate yeah so I think again Halo 5 was incredibly abysmal as a game just as a game in, in general I don't think it was I didn't find it fun I think it was a little little overkill with you know the thrusters and so I'm trying to focus to, to use this sniper and I think that it was just I think it might have been down just to personal preference that I didn't enjoy how that game felt or played and it's not a game that I enjoyed so I think when I heard that they were adding you know the grapple hook and to some degree, um, this sort of advanced clamber, I was a little bit cynical, but it seems for the most part like you can still jump, and you can still probably crouch jump pretty well, and I think to this point where it doesn't really affect me whether it has clamber or not, like it doesn't feel like it impacts me that much like it did in Halo 5, so I'll hold the ball. Hey, we did it. Nice. We actually won a game. <laughs> Got him last second. And I love the armor customization as well. Like, it, that was another thing. Halo 5 and even 4, a lot of the armor looked just horrendous. Like, it looked very, you know, plasticky. And it was very... I think a lot of them, they looked like uh, the Power Rangers, you know? So, just, yeah, really shitty... Powering, so I'm glad that they've sort of gone back to this sort of classic looking armor design. It looks fan and this looks fantastic as well. So and the graphics, the graphics look fantastic as well. So I just I'm impressed to say the least. I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with this game and how it turned out. I couldn't be happier. And I think I'll uh, I'll play this game a lot more than I will 
Battlefield uh, 2042 at the moment. Uh, is, while that game's fun, it just it has issues, and I, I think it's going to take them a couple of months to figure where that game, where they want it, or what they want it to be, where they want it to go. I think, and there's quite a little bit of, there's a few hints there that they had sort of tried to make it a battle royale. Hey, perfect. We'll end this off with Slayer. Hey, this is like the, this is the map from Halo Reach, where you take the ship up into space. Oh, I like that. But again, yeah, the armor just looks sick. Now if I can get a little, uh, what's it called, the little... Oh, bro, no way you can drive vehicles in this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dumbass. Now I wonder if I hold... Ah, uh, that might, might have been what killed me, because I... I think, because I've set it F to X to enter, but I've got it set to E to exit. I might have to adjust that. I love the map designs though. The maps like just look incredible. If I could get a plasma pistol, I'd be uh very happy because that's like the deadly combo. It's a big map for for Slayer, like I would not sort of have been to jump up under that. Let's try this. Uh, I think I killed somebody with this. Oh no, it might have been the other one that shoots the... That sound though, I love to death. Alright, let's try this gun. I don't think I actually got to use this gun too much in uh, the beta. Or the, the flights, whatever they call them. Oh, and the commando. I love the commando that. Oh no, I just jumped off! <laughs> Dumbass. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, actually, let's try the ghost out. Oh god, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have fallen for that, man. I thought he's sitting up there, like, in the second I damaged them quite a bit. The ghost feels good, though. And I died from that. You gotta be kidding me. Our items available. Dumbass. Oh, I'll pick that again. I will say this gun's quite good. I really like it. The uh, what the hydro is, man. Feels like a shotgun rocket launcher though. Feels good though, like it. I wonder what the different firing modes are. Ah, so this is like the targeting mode. I think though my only major critique of this game would be like playing it on the Xbox that uh the level of aim assist is I think a little bit too low. <laughs> there we go, I think we killed each other. But yeah, like I was saying, I think I noticed this because I started I played Combat Evolved uh, the other day, I played through that. And you can really feel like there's it's got quite a strong level of uh, of aim assist. Like it feels it feels right, like it, it helps quite a bit when shooting, especially those especially those uh like precision weapons. Now I know that isn't an issue on PC, because obviously you've got that sort of precision uh, precision shooting. But yeah, you got like a lot of that precision shooting on PC, so it's obviously a bit different. I feel really beyond maybe the AR I really struggle to shoot with it, and I think that 
might be down because obviously of the lack of aim assist, which I don't know, I sort of feel like they maybe should add a little bit more aim assist just to help the console players, particularly on uh, multiplayer, not multiplayer, single player. But I look forward to it though, like it looks. I'm not playing well this game, I was sort of hoping for a Slayer, but <laughs> I'm playing pretty poorly. In the high ground right now. I swear to God, this entire match, I've been teamed up on. <laughs> like, there's always... I seem to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And there's always an extra person. But yeah, overall, I'm just... I think may maybe that just adjustment to aim assist on console might be a little bit better, but... God, I actually freaking killed somebody. God. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to come back from this match. Right. I, I, please, I do not want to be the last kill. So I'm just going to hide. <laughs> we lost. Oh, well. It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. I know this video will be a little bit disjointed. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to edit this video and... It'll be something that I'll figure out and whether I end up doing like just recording a good match that I played and then doing a voice over that. But we'll see. Beyond that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I definitely did. I've had so much fun with this game. It has been absolutely incredible and I cannot wait for the single player to come out, which I'm definitely going to play. I might play it through once on my own just because I just want to play it and experience it and then obviously I'll, I'll play through it again afterwards so but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video so enjoy